I do not normally like painting and really after about an hour of painting I'm bored with the whole project and just want it to be over. Okay, the trailer project is finally complete. Let me just give you a quick look, then I'll explain a little bit. As you can see, my main goal was to make everything gray so it matches the outside, and I just didn't like the bare wood look. So I took care of all of that. So first, starting with the walls, I just grabbed some paint at Home Depot. Uh, they mixed up the color that I, I picked out in their display and uh, one gallon did the job so I still have plenty left over so that was no problem so now the floor was a different story it's made by Bear and that came pre-mixed and ready to go uh, but that actually took uh, about a little over two gallons to do this so it uh, goes on rather thick um, but it doesn't go on very easily. I even used the correct roller that they wanted me to as indicated on the top of the can. Uh, I think it was quarter inch nap. Uh, but anyway, uh, that was more trouble than it was worth. And I do not normally like painting. And really, after about an hour of painting, I'm bored with the whole project and just want it to be over. So uh, this definitely took a little bit longer than I would anticipate. Uh, mostly, again, because of the floor. As you can see, uh, I also did the ramp. I'm not sure how much of a, a view you're getting of that. Uh, but you can see it's a non-skid surface, which is what I was after. I'll keep changing the angle so hopefully you can see it. Um, but I just wanted something uh, to provide a little bit of traction uh, while getting in and out of here, particularly trying to uh, manhandle the bike and get that all situated, uh, particularly if anything ever happens to get wet. Uh, that plain plywood uh, would be very slick. So anyway, I think I accomplished that. So uh, even got the extension flap. Uh, now on the back side of the extension flap, I will show you. I just painted it with the same color that I have on the inside on the walls. Uh, there was no need to put the, the non-stick surface on the back side. Again, I did this just mostly for looks. Uh, rather than anything else. So when it is up, it, it looks better than just the bare plywood. Anyway, so in a couple of other things uh, that you can see, uh, one, I added a fire extinguisher uh, just because you never know. And last is I've got the support mount ready to go for the pit bull restraint system, which I talked about earlier that my goal in here is to never have to uh, use tie-down straps and I will not need tie-down straps for the VMAX uh, but I will probably have to use tie-down straps in the future on the goal wing. Uh, now I'm not going to go over the Pitbull uh, restraint system that'll be a whole separate video in and of itself uh, that'll keep this video from being too long uh, because as many of you know uh, the average YouTube viewer only sticks around for about three to four minutes. So after that, half of the viewers are gone. So uh, we have a very short attention span. So we either find what we're after within three to four minutes or we're bored with it all together and uh, we stop watching that video. This trailer will be mostly for uh, function rather than form. I know a lot of guys out there really get crazy with the trailers. And a lot of people watching this one will probably have all kinds of crazy suggestions such as I should build a loft, uh, put in a Murphy bed, a bathroom, uh, a stove, a refrigerator, all kinds of crazy things. That is not my goal. The primary purpose of this trailer is to take my motorcycle for repair or if I want to get a weekend getaway. And in that case, I will be staying somewhere, most likely a cottage or a hotel or a cabin or something of that sort. Uh, in the future, I will be getting an RV, uh, but I'll talk more about that as that develops. Uh, but for right now, this is pretty much it. I am done with the trailer as far as any modifications, and now it's just a matter of putting it to use. So hopefully I won't need to use it for maintenance, uh, but rather I can use it for weekend getaways. So I am ready to go on that. And when those happen, I will have videos on that as well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.